Greetings to you. I am Peter Konunda. I would be very grateful if you would kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more tutorials. I also urge you to ask questions in the comments area if any. Now it is the 60th birthday of the late Margaret Ogola, the famous writer of the River and the Source Set book. I take this opportunity to thank Google for commemorating this global award-winning writer from Kenya. The late Margaret Ogola won the Familiars Award for Humanitarian Service, a Commonwealth Writers' Prize in 1995. Thank you, Google, once again for this. Now, today in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of one, boosting a Facebook page or advert on your page and adding a payment method on Facebook. Why is it important to boost a Facebook post or advert? People will pay for adverts or boost posts for various reasons. Here are some of the reasons that I could come up with. It helps you drive traffic to a specific content on your page. An example of this is where an artist releases a new song and wants people to listen to it or share it for reviews. It helps you put your brand out there and generate traffic to the page. More people are likely to get to see your boosted post or advert and therefore know about your page or business. It is a way of promoting your page in order to get more likes or reviews. A boosted advert or post will reach a wider audience including people who haven't already liked your page. These posts usually have a call to action button. Like, e.g. like, call or contact us. So it is a way of engaging your fans. It also helps to bring an audience with similar interests together for a particular course. For example, when organizing a visit to orphans in a home, you may want to reach out to people who have a passion in voluntary work and charity events only, who may want to support your course or join you. It can also be done to conduct a survey on a particular subject or topic of interest to a particular audience now, there are lots of other reasons why people might want to boost an advert or a post on their Facebook pages. Any reason that you may think of will probably be right. The importance of boosting our pages or adverts on our pages. But what do we need to do this? So, number one, you need a Facebook page. In our case, we are going to use Kruna Sounds. This is my entertainment business page uh, you will also need to have a post on your page or create one if one doesn't exist you will need a mode of payment now this is one of the posts that i have on my page it's a song done by aj alvin j brown called words of wisdom a very good song you can listen to it I also I also have another post of a particular event that we offered sound system and DJ services among other many pages posts that I've put on this page over the years you will, you will need a mode of payment where either credit card an ATM a PayPal account you will also need a budget for your for the advert or the or the post or the promotion how much do you intend to spend daily then finally you will need a, a duration for the promotion whether it's a one day promotion five days a week a month etc you must decide on all that now that we know what we need so how do we create an advert or a promotion on our pages. Uh, the first thing that I should have told you is that you need to log into your page to do this. all this. You must have some rights over 
the page so you facebook will give you suggestions on what you can do or what you can promote on your page for example you can see here that i'm being asked to promote my business locally uh, when you come to this side again on your left there is a promote button and manage promotions so we will not use an existing post but we will create a post so that so that we can see the options that we have and choose what suits us so when you click on the promote button you will get a number of options to choose from from boost all this so you can choose to run a promotion um, and uh, we'll and go uh, through any these, of these options that we have to let you know what they mean so when you click on boost a post this simply means that you're giving priority to uh to any content that you had created on your page previously so this is for an existing uh content for example a post a photo etc when if you choose this option you will be promoting content on your instagram page uh, the third option asks you to promote your send message button this simply asks people or interested audience to send you a message through the available channels most likely a, a form or maybe an email but with this you are going to be asking people to contact you through messages promote your page simply puts your page in a place where interested audience can interact with it and like it so you will get more likes when you use this option the other option is promote your business locally with this option people interested in your page around your page location for example around your business location for example if you are in nairobi and you want to promote your business locally the post will be sent to an audience that resides within and within nairobi and its environs so you, the people around you will get to know about your business or your page promote your call now button simply asks people to call you if they are interested in your services it's pretty easy there will be a number uh, any interested person just dials the call now button and uh, especially if they are they are accessing your page through a mobile device once they once they click on the call now button uh, your number will be dialed and you'll get a call from the, that particular person so get more visi website visitors this one sends traffic to your website so you just need to add your url your website's url to this link at some point and then you will get traffic to your page you'll drive traffic or audience will be redirected to your website get more leads simply ask people or the audience to leave their contacts if they are interested in your business or page and then you can maybe later later on call them email them talk to them through a channel that you prefer so we are going to be promoting our page through this option so when you click on that i had started uh, I had started uh, creating a promotion so I can decide to complete this or alternatively choose to create a new promo all the same it's all the same but when you choose to complete what was already there you realize that some of the content that I had put in is still there so we'll choose a slideshow we might take a slideshow from our library but i want to create a new slideshow so that you can see what exactly 
happens when you do that. So we can choose to have our slideshow run for three seconds. I'd love the photos to fade in instead of just disappearing. And then I'll add photos at this link. So with that, and then I'll click on the page that I want to get photos from. Yes, and from here, I'll get those microphones. Sorry. I'll select that photo. Take another one where there, there is a speaker. Move downwards. Add the mixer. Add the DJ player. Uh, there are some tags here for this business. I'll also add them. There is a DJ here playing. We we also have some of our clients dancing. I'll add them to that particular slide. I'll take my two DJs, add them to the slideshow. I will also add another mic to the slideshow. Then I'll get a few more photos. Then we can now then we can now create our slideshow. So this particular headphones I think I look good so no I'll take this instead. They look good so I have ten photos here already. I can look at what I'm not interested in and remove it. Think the mics are repeated so I might leave them out. Want to look for something else that maybe that will do. I can take this. Sorry. Okay, now we have 10 photos. Click on continue. And you, as you can see, there is a preview window here for your slideshow. So your photos will be loaded to the slideshow and you will also see uh, your photos. Okay, you will see how your photos will appear. You can play this slideshow just to confirm whether the photos look good and they've been resized to the same size, which is good. You might want to make some changes to the size of the photos. You can use original, which will... Uh, ensure that the photos are not changed they appear as they are uh, you realize that some parts of the photos are trimmed out so we can go for a different a different aspect ratio so we could take this or maybe go for this option no, too small. So we'll maintain the square one to one ratio. I think that's pretty good as much as some part of the content is trimmed out, but, it, but it's pretty good. So having done that, we will create the slideshow. Now, since we already have uh, our content here, I simply want to tell people to contact us for sound system and DJ services for your private and corporate events. And there is my personal number. Call us for sound system and DJ services. And then I can add a hash here for the number. We have an audience here, people we choose through targeting. So we can look at the, we can take one of the audience. For example, I'll take the events audience. I had created this previously. And you can see the people who match these interests. The interest, the particular interest that I've taken, wedding, vow, renewal ceremony, anniversary bachelorette party, wedding anniversary, engagement, wedding invitation, weddings or wedding planner, behavior, behaviors like anniversary within a particular date, 
life events like anniversaries etc so with the audience selected then i have to choose when this advert will end because i don't want to run it continuously so i'll choose a specific date uh, you can take the number of days here let's say you want to run this event for four days this promotion for four days the actual amount of money spent in a day this may vary but then i want to spend two dollars per day that is the minimum i can spend out of the options available and you are told that estimated number of likes to the page per day will be between 32 and 92 likes per day that is good enough for me mine is still quite a small it's still a small business but then all the same i want to promote it then to add a payment method you can click on this the easiest way to do this the other option would be to go to manage promotions or ads manager page but then this one will take you to the ads manager page automatically and from there you can change your payment method we should be seeing a preview of how the page will appear here but then that seems not to be the case at the moment i'm not sure why that is happening we need to create or to edit this slideshow so that we can add something to it let's take one from the library instead so i don't know if this is going to be good enough no let's create a slideshow again so we have our slideshow here what we had created simply wanted to add music because that was forgotten this is one of my songs that i uploaded recently to the page so when you play this there's no sound but then when you come back and yes we now have a preview of the slideshow so yes we have some music in the background so we'll now keep the slideshow with the music added to it and then on the other page we were to add a payment method you realize that i have a visa card added here which expires on in august 19 oh, sorry 2022 i can edit or remove this but i don't want to do so i want to oh, okay if you want to add a new payment method just click on that option type in your credit card number it's normally on the front of your card on the front side of your card then uh, sorry the name of your card the card number the card number is normally a long number in front of your credit card or atm card whichever you choose to use then you type in the the year the month and year of expiry and then at the back of your card you will see uh you will see some security number it's normally a three letter number so this is your security card marked in red on the other side we have the long number that starts with three seven five nine that is the card number for your particular uh, atm card that is what you're supposed to add here the three numbers go here and then you continue if you want to use paypal instead you just click on this and continue when you continue you'll be prompted to log into your paypal account and approve that to so this is my paypal address this is where you key in your password and then you log in once you log in your account will be linked to your to your page the third option is to use a facebook coupon now facebook might give you 
some promotional cash or credits to use for your advert for example you can see that that down here i had a credit card uh, sorry i had a an ad credit that i did not use so you'll you'll type in the code for the coupon and then just apply and continue that one will be approved so we already have a credit card we are not going to add a new payment method but at least you now know how to do that so i'll close that and go back to our page we have our advert set the budget set the audience set uh, and uh, the message is set also we also have the photos or oh, uh, even though you cannot see a, pro a preview here but then once that is done just click on promote and that will submit your promotion or advert to Facebook for review if found to if your promotion sorry or is if your ad is reviewed and found to be meeting the set criteria for Facebook adverts or posts then you will start seeing results as soon as possible so you can see from this point that the advert is under review the daily budget is here amount spent none so far and so many other issues it's supposed to end on within four days end date is 17th june date created is today 13th june created by who and the payment method so payment will be deducted from my card ending with 0483 so with that done we only wait for 15 minutes and then or less and then we will get an alert or a promotion or oh sorry or a, an alert from facebook telling you that your advert or your promo has been approved so just want to show you one small thing here i hope we'll be able to see the preview yes and we have something there so you look at this so when you promote your page for example i want my page to have more likes so with this this is what goes out to your audience they'll see an image or a, a slideshow with a play button it will be automatic on their page so what they'll see is this music playing in the background photos flashing in their faces and that will be done so it will uh, keep playing i mean it will loop until stopped until when or such a time when it will be stopped down here you'll get the main category of the page event planner kruna sounds the number of likes the page already have and a thumbs up which means that anyone who hits this button will have liked your page so down here you can like you can comment and you can share the advert if you like it normally they'll be in three versions so you can see our message uh, up here the message that we typed in Call us for sound system and DJ services for your private and corporate events. We have a desktop view of this. So the photos will be slightly larger. And the images will also be bigger. So that is the difference between the two. So we can save the changes and wait for the... sorry we have repeated what we had done before we should have not done that but then i believe there should be an a, a notification yes and we can see that the advert or the ad 
has been approved. Oh, sorry, we've resubmitted it, so that means that we'll have to wait a little longer again to have it running. But here, sorry, if you can see this text here, it says that your ad is now in review. We'll let you know when it's approved. So this is one minute ago. I think previously we had an alert telling us that the ad had been approved. So I think uh, we are being asked to wait a little longer because we resubmitted the advert again. So it's still in review. I will take a small part of the video to show you how the ad is doing out there. Thank you for watching this and I hope this helps you uh, promote your own pages, create your own adverts. If you have a question, kindly ask in the comment section of this YouTube page. Thank you, thank you, thank you.